Okay, so we've bought the hardware, we've set up the software, we've got a recording, we've got an output. Where do we put it? What do we do with it? How do we get it onto iTunes? All of those different questions that people have is that I've heard from Upwork with people as asking for people for podcast producers is we want a podcast on iTunes. Like they go from wanting, realizing they need a podcast to then realizing they need content, which means somebody has to spend time doing it. And then the packaging of it and then the uploading of it and then the distribution of it. It's a process. It's like any job, any digital job online is a process that you have to step through. But a lot of people just want to jump straight from, I want to buy all the gear, I want to plug it in, I want it to just work, and then I want to put it onto iTunes and for us to get lots of people listening to it. So one of the easiest ways that I can tell you today in 2019 to do a podcast, and I think there's some kind of stat out there which is about 30%, 40% of new podcasts are being hosted on Anchor. And there's a good reason for that. Anchor.fm is a podcast hosting service based out of New York City. They've pivoted a couple of times. They're really fine-tuning their their offering now. And recently, they, they pushed a really big update at the end of last year to do with sponsorships. And that is that people will promote their podcast or their businesses in your podcast, and you can earn money for that. And, so, and it's all integrated together, which works really nicely. So Anchor.fm is one of the places to do it. You can create and host unlimited episodes, distribute your show everywhere and make money all in one place, and it's all for free. The best thing about um, Anchor is it takes away all of those issues that you would have with podcasting in terms of finding a host and distribution. So you could do the podcast if you wanted to from your phone. A lot of these brand new iPhones and Android phones have very high quality microphones in them. I won't say as good as a XLR mic in a nice quiet environment, but they do a pretty good job. And the wonderful thing about Anchor is that you can get people to ring in to a little room and they can be on the other side of the country just using two high quality iPhone Xs, for instance, and do your podcast remotely. Or you could take calls from people who are asking questions and you can give them a, re a reply back in the podcast. So very flexible and you can even use the web interface to do that. So I'm going to quickly show you one of our podcasts here. You can also see that we've earned 70 cents. Yay! Um, it gives you the analytics and breakdown of how many plays you're getting per month. You can see that we desperately need to play some, uh, to record some podcasts for this month. But even though we haven't recorded any, we still at like half of what we normally get. So that means that people are listening back to our previous ones. And you can see on the right hand side here, all of the podcasts that we've got going, you can see how many plays they've got. You also see this little green dollar sign, which means that the sponsorship um, audio has been played in that po is embedded into that podcast. And we get a kickback if people listen to that piece of audio from the particular sponsor. So that's really nicely integrated. You can also see here our people are listening. They're coming in from Anchor, Spotify, iOS, Android. And you can break down on a specific podcast or you can go into the settings and there's a variety of settings in here that you can use um, to take your RSS feed, which is the feed where all of your podcasts exist, and take that somewhere else and do stats tracking and find out how many subscribers, etc. And you can find that in advanced under RSS feed. So... Anchor is really cool for that. All you have to do in Anchor to upload that audio file that we did is click on the right-hand side here where it says Upload Audio, and you just drag and drop into this area, or you click and find the file, and then you let it go through and do all of its processing, and then that's pretty much all you have to do. You just have to push it and accept it, add a bit of text in there for the title and the description, and then that goes and proliferates all of your podcasts onto different services, and we can... Show I can show you which ones they go to. So if we do this one, we did this one in December, and it tells you the status. This episode has been published and can be heard everywhere your podcast is available. And then at the bottom here, it, can it gives you additional stats on that as well. So really simple and easy to use. Um, on Anchor's front end as well, we can go to anchor.fm forward slash positive, which is our positively negative. And you can see here underneath where it says listening in your favorite app, available on 10 platforms. So if I click on here, you can see that the podcast is available on Anchor, but they also distribute it to Apple Podcasts, which is iTunes. Which most people want to be on iTunes. Breaker, CastBox, Google Play, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, and Spotify. I heartily recommend this piece of software, Pocket Casts. I think it's like $4.99, $3.99, something like that. 
probably one of the best little uh, podcast playing apps you can get. And then here as well, which is kind of cool, and I'll mention it even though I'm going to mention it later on about embedding, is that you can listen to the podcast straight from here, from this site. So you can promote this site via Twitter or your favorite social media uh, uh, site. And also from here, people can support this podcast so they can donate a small amount like 99 cents or 4.99 or 9.99 if they're getting value from the podcast. And that's all supported by Anchor Payments, which I think uses Stripe to take the payment. So very nicely integrated all in one place if you want to make your podcast a paying entity to your digital strategy. Underneath, you've got all the podcasts that we've done. If you want to embed that particular podcast, top right-hand corner, some little dots there. If you, um, sorry, wrong place, click on the share. You can see you've got URL, which takes you direct to this podcast, or you can embed the iframe. So anywhere where you can use HTML and iframes, you can embed that podcast there, and it will responsively uh, size up to suit depending on the container. And that's pretty much how Anchor works, really. It's, it's really super straightforward. Once you have that audio file, once you've pushed it up, they do all the encoding, and then they do they take care of all that distribution for you, and then you have the stats and everything in the back end. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why is it free? How come, I, how come it's free when I, I have to pay for, like, Podbean or all these other sites, Transistor and stuff? Well, they're kind of cornering the market in terms of, their strategy is a lot different than all the other ones. They want to get as many of the new podcasts on board through their system as possible. Also, they're aimed specifically at the mobile market so that people can be in transition. Maybe you're somebody who has a very high, stressful job, but you want a podcast and you don't have time to sit down with a mic and everything. Um, you can do it from your phone. And I think also their their ideas in terms of onboarding um, people to pay for supporting podcasts they take a cut in there as well. So that keeps the um, the start up afloat. Highly recommend it. Anchor are very progressive. They're po- constantly putting updates out. If you want additional stats or you want to host elsewhere and have a backup somewhere else or transition to a higher capacity site with more features later on, you can do that quite easily because Anchor provides you with an RSS feed which you can plug into another tool. So that's a centralized way of hosting that audio that you create from either a local app or a remote app using Zencaster, uh, anchor.fm, and it's free to get started today. 